Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir opened his coronavirus briefing Monday by saying that the state is continuing to see sharp declines in the number of cases and the positivity rate. And those drops are also being seen in other areas, such as hospitalizations, ICU admissions, and ventilator use. With that in mind, the governor says he expects to be able to offer new guidance for how to deal with the virus next month. If these trends continue, uh, we believe Kentucky will move out of the red and into the orange or even the yellow uh, conservatively by March the 14th. Uh, That's when we will be uh, in a much better place as long as we continue to see these declines and the rates of decline. With that in mind, our goal will be to provide uh, new guidance uh, as of that date, simplify some of our guidance that's out there. Certainly, if we are in that better place, uh, the guidance will provide significant more uh, flexibility and, and recognition of where we are in the pandemic with not only cases and positivity declining, uh, but also Omicron being something very different uh, in terms of, of the level of disease it causes. At Pikeville Medical Center, We believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. Versus previous uh, variants. Public Health Commissioner Dr. Stephen Stack echoed the governor's confidence about being able to relax some guidance, but he reminded Kentuckians that the virus is still something to take seriously. I share the governor's confidence that by the time we get to mid-March, we should be in a much better place, and I look forward uh, to giving some additional or different guidance that hopefully simplifies the paradigm just a little bit, but still reminds us all we're in the middle of a global pandemic, It has surprised us and thrown curveballs multiple times over the last two years. And it's really, really imperative that we continue to take reasonable and responsible steps to try to minimize the risk that it gets worse so that once we have these gains, uh, we can keep the gains and and go on with our lives um, much more like we used to know them. The latest numbers show that Kentucky has seen 1.24 million cases of COVID, including more than 1,900 on Monday. 32 more deaths were reported Monday, raising the death toll to 13,416. More than 1,700 people are currently hospitalized with the virus, including 322 in intensive care and 162 on ventilators. The state's positivity rate is just shy of 18%.